audio plugin deals and today we're going to look at Muse Aquamarine. This is an amazing contact instrument that uh, is kind of a texture and pad generator. Um, it's got over 102 gigabytes of sounds. I think it's got over 2000 presets so there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, I've been playing around with this uh, contact library for a couple days and I thought in this video I'd show you guys um, a couple of the presets, what they sound like, uh, just an overview of how the synth works and then show you guys a small song that I made using Aquamarine. The first thing I'll say is they've got uh, all these different um, different locations for the names of the different pads and the different synth sounds like for example we've got Bermuda or Caribbean and I think it's all these tropical destinations that um, kind of inspire a, a feeling so um, I've liked the sound of the Caribbean so I've got one of their presets here and I just want to play you guys a quick chord and let's see how it sounds. Sounding pretty good. There are four different modules here then you can blend between the sounds with this XY fader in the middle. I'm not going to have a look at another preset um, just to show you some of the range. This is another one from the pad libraries. These are my favorites. Um, let's have a listen to Bermuda. And once again I'm just going to blend it with this wheel. Definitely an instant vibe. And that's one of the things that I found that Aquamarine was really good at was creating these very quick, um, moody kind of atmospheres. So now that I've shown you a few presets, I want to talk about what's really going on here. Um, you can see there's these, these four modules and they look quite overwhelming at first. Um, but once you realize they're all kind of the same, but just there's four of them, it's not so bad. So you've got your self volume, you've got compression, it's limiting, attack decay, sustain release like most synthesizers, and then there's kind of a filter thing here, and then there's these settings where you can add on uh, another interval. So if you didn't want to play a chord, you could just add a fifth on by turning that on. Um, and there's an arpeggiator as well that you can turn on and off, which is really handy. Um, and each, each of the modules has that. So you can really get these kind of, just using this front page here, you can get some pretty exciting sounds. They all have their own EQ, like a simple one, just high and low. Now I want to show you guys um, where things get a bit crazy because there's actually so much control you have in this synth using um, the different pages. So you'll see here we're on the main page, but there's actually three more pages. And each of these has different effects options if you choose to use them. The first one is this compressor here, which is like a vintage compressor. And on this page they also have an equalizer. So you can kind of really figure out uh, the frequencies you want to boost and a more character or take away and also this panorama thing so if you wanted to kind of uh, play with the stereo image a bit there's like a rotator and a panner um, and then these send effects as well so reverb delay chorus you know, everything you could really want so if you're somebody that really likes to get really detailed and meticulous with your sounds there's really everything on board here to do that there's also this effects rack that kind of goes over everything so there's an another compressor um, a cabinet uh, option which is kind of gives it a like a guitar amp sound um, the saturator which is really cool and then another limiter and if you still are not satisfied there's more there's another mixer here where you can um, get even more busy so this is a you actually have to scroll on this one because there's so much you can do but there's reverb delay um, filters LFO so if you're somebody who really likes to, to really craft a sound and try to make something special, this could be something you like to use. When I started making a song, I did find that I was reaching in and kind of changing a few of the small parameters to make a little bit of difference and then making the sounds my own. Because in the end, I don't try not to use presets too often. I try to change them just a little bit. So I've shown you what it sounds like, I've shown you what it looks like. What I want to show you guys now is, is the song that I made using it. Because although I could really spend hours showing you the different effects and things, I think what really does this synth justice is the way it sounds. And um, I can I think I could demonstrate this with the track I made. Now this track I made is a bit, a bit sad. It's a dark track. 
feel like everybody's feeling sad at the moment because we're all in isolation. So um, please forgive me for making this dark song. I'll just go through some of the elements here. The, I use the Caribbean one to just play a few dark kind of uh, evolving chords like this. And then I have this Bermuda one doing a drone on one note for the whole piece. And then I use another one as a, as a bass. And it's really just these three um, sounds. I do have the Barbados doing a small intro, but it's not a big feature. So you can see there's a lot of automation here. Um, I've automated using just using this XY pad. I was moving it around, and I had it on um, on on write mode, so I could write the automation in. Um, I'm going to leave this open so you can see the XY moving. Let's have a listen to it, and I hope you like what you hear. So I hope you guys enjoyed that track. It was a bit darker than the track I'd normally make because things are a bit strange right now in this world. But I felt like um, you know, Aquamarine did a really good job and the textures itself were really good. Um, if you like this library, there's going to be a really, really good deal on it in audio plugin deals very soon. Uh, there's going to be, a, what I, from what I understand, I've been told there's going to be a steep discount. So definitely go get your hands on this. That's Aquamarine. Please hit like and subscribe, and please stay safe. It's crazy times out there right now, but if you're inside making music, you're probably gonna be okay. So I'll see you guys next time. 